Hello, it is a dark episode for May the 6th, uh, 2023, and, oh, well, so I'm enjoying my doodling. I know it's, an, it's my new little obsession, but I'm really enjoying it, and I feel like I've got kind of like, it's funny, doing a doodle a day, which is what I've been doing, or trying to do a doodle a day, and sometimes doing a less, sometimes doing a little bit more, uh, just so I can... I can uh, upload something to DA uh, each day um, has been really good because like it's like I feel like I'm getting into a bit of a flow and it's like oh maybe it's one of these things that if I could just keep on keep it going make it a habit uh, for you know a month well actually I'm coming up on a month if I can if I can do it for six months um, I might get somewhere. I don't know where. <laughs> as a as an entertaining hobby, you know, and just like at this point, it's like, yep, just do it, keep on doing it. Sometimes they don't look that great. Sometimes they look better. Uh, a lot of times, the pers the perspective or the anatomy that I'm kind of going for isn't particularly there. But you know what? It's going, and I'm doing it more and more and more. And, you know, it's not super complex stuff. It's very much line drawings. I'm not trying to do shading at this point. Um, I'm doing what I'm doing. But it's like, oh, I, I, can, I can feel, just probably because I'm starting out so low, so nothing, it's picking up a little bit of steam. Uh, you know, if you're going at a crawl, if you can get up to a waddle, it's amazing. Um, so, you know, I'm sure I will hit a point where I'm not, a, 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 there's no discernible advancement whatsoever, but at the moment I'm so, so at the beginning, uh, of this that, oh, I feel like I'm, I, relatively speaking, I feel like I'm zooming forward. I will be Picasso by the end of the week. Maybe not. I, I, I don't think I would be, uh, R. Crumb if I did this till the end of time, to be honest. So, yeah, yeah, that's where I am with that, which is good. I'm um, writing each day. I've got something I want to write each day. I'm outlining Duffel, Duffel Puff. I did a kind of a half-hearted review of um, Harlan Ellison's I Have No Mouth, um, so I, But I Must Scream or something like that, whatever the name of the title of the short stories was it's half-hearted because i didn't go back and sort of get the various plots involved i just gave a kind of a general impression which is harlan ellison was a bitter angry dude who had real issues with women uh and that kind of poisoned his work uh in a long in a lot of ways i mean i think my only proviso in that might be, was Harlan Ellison, was this collection a horror collection? And there is a thing of horror stories that you're digging in to the, the black, the, the unpleasant, the, the stuff that you want that so a different writer might want to bury. And it's like, no, I'm excavating that. I'm magnifying that. I'm dramatizing that. So... Is he secretly a feminist who wants to highlight uh, the dark psyche of a certain kind of male in his 1960s society? Or is he simply uh, a 1960s male who's got all this crap in him, which is magnified because he's doing a mm, kind of horror tinge. I would say horror tinge, especially that first, that first uh, thing of an uh, all-powerful... AI torturing the last five people on earth it's like it's it, it, it's definitely horror so am I shooting the messenger as it was am I confusing Harlan Ellison with his work I don't know it's tough because it's it, it when it becomes all the different stories grouped together you you have a hard time thinking you know Doing it once is maybe making a point in a story, but doing it five, six, seven, eight times uh, and it constantly coming up, the horrible kind of cardboard woman, uh, 
uh, evil, you know, kind of, you know, subhuman creature that is, or females in these stories, you have a hard time not just starting to say, that's the author, that's, that's their psyche on display very unpleasantly in a book. Meh. I'm not going to release the video so I don't have to publicly, so I don't have to really balance things out. If for some reason you watched the last video of me reviewing it and you're pissed off because I, I gave Harland a, a, a rough time, you can take this as my mea culpa or my maybe, maybe not. I have doubts. You know, the sort of stuff that would come up more if I was... Um, it would come up more if I was going to do a kind of a sober couple of different ponderings on the book, which I, I don't really think it's worth it because I didn't enjoy the writing either. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to head upstairs. More videos later.